Welcome back to Retire Too Soon, and today we're going to flush out the heater core. Welcome back, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and this helps you out, please give me a like. It helps out the channel. Now let's jump into the video. I ordered this part on Amazon. It is 5 5.8, that's what your heater core line is that goes from the engine. It attaches to your garden hose. I'm going to take this funnel. I'm going to remove the plastic tube and attach this piece of metal I have laying around so I can put this in the hose and then I can direct the old coolant where I want it to go. This is going to be on one hose and then I'm going to have the other one on the other hose. This is a 2000 Ram 2500 with the 24 valve Cummins. Your heater core is most likely going to be on the passenger side. It is on, obviously, on my truck, but I think almost all vehicles, it's going to be passenger side. And you want to locate the top hose and the lower hose. The top hose is the direction it goes from the top into the core to the lower hose. When you flush it out, you want to go in reverse. So you want to take the bottom hose and flush it out to the top hose. If you also look, mine's a little different. I have a T on it because it goes into a cab, I have an alternative heat source. This was my alternative heat source for last winter. Here in Alaska, we get down to negative 40, negative 50 Fahrenheit. And most likely the reason why you're flushing it out is you're trying to get heat to your vents. So I installed this last winter. I'll try to link a video, I think it's like right there. So you can go watch it. But as of right now, I am getting like not even lukewarm out of it. Where this, it gets, comes out burning hot. Once you located the hoses that you need to disconnect, you want to disconnect them. Make sure you have a way of catching the old coolant by a gallon bucket, some type of container so you're not dumping contaminants everywhere. And remember, you are working with coolant. So safety first, make sure you don't get burned. Have the truck cool or your safety glasses and just protect yourself. Make sure you flush out the hose. You don't want to put contaminants in there that don't belong in there. Next, you want to hook up the hose and your way of draining it. So I have it set up right now. Definitely do not drink it. All right, I got about a half gallon out. I don't know if you guys can see down there, there's a little bit of dirt, not much. I just wanted to get the initial cooling out and then I'm going to flush the rest into a five gallon bucket so it can run a lot longer in a couple seconds. Now once you get done flushing out with clean water and you think you get all the debris out, you're gonna wanna take a funnel, this is how I'm gonna try it, and put in some fresh coolant so you can get rid of the water you put in it so it gets closer to the mixture that you need. And also make sure that you have a way of catching the water that comes out so you don't make a mess. All right, I wasn't too successful at doing it. It was just making a mess. Leave a comment down below if you're able to push out the water. Maybe you have a better system and a better plan than I did. I'm not too concerned about it. That little bit of water is not gonna mean much, especially since we mix with 50-50 and straight concentrate because of how cold it gets here. And once you get all the hoses clamped down, I secure so they don't leak you're gonna to wanna to bleed the system. All right, if you haven't watched my block heater video, go ahead and watch that. But I would highly recommend picking this up on, I got it on Amazon to help you bleed the system. It's as simple as put on top of your radiator, you fill it up and then you let it run till it warms up so the thermostat can open. Make sure you get all the air out. All right, once I get this all purged, all the air out, I'm gonna take it for a drive and I'll give you my final thoughts. I'll let you know if it's finally blowing hotter air. All right, just made it back home from the test drive and yeah, it's not blowing hot at all. So it's still cold. And if you're looking at it right now, it says the AC is on. Anyway, so I was running the AC and I've throughout the summer noticed a little bit of smoke and stuff. And then I went from AC to like right now back to heat and then a bunch of smoke started coming out of the vents. So let me comment down below if you guys ever experienced that. And also down there, the bottom vent, Let's see if I point at it right there. 
I'm getting cooling, but it's not that much. It's not like a constant, like constantly running out. Like it builds up a little bit. And what I think I'm gonna do is go underneath here and I'm gonna try to mess with the blender door. The motor down there does work, it turns, but I don't think it's like fully turning to switch it over from, you know, hot and cold. Probably has that, you know, dodge problem. So I hope this video helps you out. Sorry, it's the wind's picking up here. So hopefully it, you don't get wind noise. So the previous owner did flush it out, you know, a little over a year ago. So I've owned it for about a year. So I didn't think that was a problem, but I want to eliminate that issue. So hopefully I didn't cause more issue. So as I said, I'm gonna see if I can get that blender door out now that it's, you know, not in the negatives and I'm not gonna freeze my butt off. So it should be hopefully a lot more enjoyable this time trying to get it out. Yeah, if you see it, looks like coolant coming out of that too. Mm. All right, I got the blender door down. And if I move the vent by hand, you know, if I stick my hand up here and turn it, I'm getting warm air now. So even though this is working, it's not turning it, I guess. Looks like I'm gonna need a heater core. I don't believe that doing the flush is what damaged it. So as I said, you gotta make sure that you don't put that much PSI in it because that will damage the heater core. I believe that it was probably already leaking. It just got to my attention because I was looking in that area. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like if you got value. Until my next video, thanks for watching. Bye. Oh,